Hey guys, welcome back to another mini-sode where today we'll be taking a look at another PAL exclusive, well, sort of, with the Xbox version of Alien Hominid. The story is pretty simple and easy to follow. The Hominid is cruising through space when he's spotted by the FBI down on Earth via satellite and is shot down to the planet. When he crashes, his ship is taken by the Bureau and he goes on a crazy rage-filled adventure to get it back and go home. See? Simple and perfect. Alien Hominid is a side-scrolling shooter, similar to the Contra and Metal Slug series, where you and a friend, if you'd like, play through 16 stages in three different areas to get to the end of the stage to fight a boss, killing everything in your way and avoiding bullets, as one hit will kill you. You have a blaster for your default weapon with different ammo available as pickups, like laser shots, flamethrowers, and spread shots, as well as grenades and shields to give you an extra hit. The hominid can also knife enemies at close range and also jump on their heads to bite them clean off. You can even go underground to pull the unsuspecting jerks down there to suffocate them. On top of that, there are parts where you can drive vehicles as well as your ship in a shooter segment that kind of reminds me of that old arcade game Sinistar. Along the way, completing certain tasks like blowing up a certain building or just beating a stage will unlock hats that the hominid can wear. They're merely cosmetic, but it is nice to have a little customization with your character. The only complaint I would see with the game, and it's not even a complaint to me personally, is that the difficulty might be off-putting to some, as gameplay isn't the only thing that Alien Hominid borrowed from its old-school inspiration. This game could be quite the challenge in some parts, especially the awesomely crafted boss fights. Except for that end boss, that guy can eat it. At least the game controls really well, even with that blah yet still lovable Xbox D-pad. Besides the main game, there's quite a few mini-games to keep you busy long after you beat the story. There's three multiplayer modes, Challenge, Neutron Ball, and Boss Pinata. Super Soviet Missile Master, where you guide a missile from Russia to the US while dodging obstacles. Then you have the PDA missions. Played from the Hominid's Palm device, you control a little stick man, killing all enemies to get to the exit, while collecting fruit for points. There's 200 levels to complete, as well as 25 extra levels created by US Alien Hominid fans. You can also get creative and make your own stages if you want. For this version of Alien Hominid, an extra minigame was included called All You Can Eat, where you, well, eat all you can to be the winner. This minigame not only eventually made it to the States on the Xbox 360 HD version, but was recreated as All You Can Quaff in the Behemoth's next game, Castle Crashers. Visually, Alien Hominid is fantastic. Both the characters and the stages are drawn in a way that I can only best describe as a Saturday morning cartoon on the finest of drugs, a feeling that you definitely get from viewing the cutscenes. On top of that, the hominid is adorable. Maniacal and insane, but still adorable. For audio, there's no voiceover, but the screams and grunts everyone makes is still pretty hilarious, while the music keeps this energetic beat that keeps you going throughout the game. Alien Hominid is a fantastic game that I can't recommend enough, but should you import this version if you're in the States? Sadly, the answer is no. While it is a fine port, the extra minigame and PDA levels isn't worth all the import hassle when you can get the same game for cheaper. On top of that, all bonus stuff is on the HD version for Xbox 360, which is already playable on Xbox One. But if you're already in the PAL regions, then yeah, I'd say add this one to your collection, especially if you find it cheap. Hell, I'd recommend any version of this game, even the scaled down Game Boy Advance version, it's that good. And with that, this is the Dolly Popka. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.